Welcome. Welcome back to another We Power Daily Podcast. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be at the time you decided to tune in to the We Power Daily. You know, the We Power Daily um, is just a brief 10 minute or so plus or minus segment that we do daily stemming from the topics, scenarios, situations that I may have during a coaching session with my coaching clients. And today our topic is going to be on mistakes, the fear of making mistakes. And, you know, I want to twist that because I believe that making mistakes can be a superpower to your accelerated success. Making mistakes can be a superpower to your accelerated success or removing the fear of making mistakes can be a superpower to your accelerated success, to your next level of success. And here at We Power Success, our goal is simply to coach our clients to the next level, next level coaching, getting you to the next level of success on your journey. So let's talk about it. Uh, mistakes. You know, many of us have a fear of being embarrassed or we don't like to be embarrassed or we will allow the possibility of us being embarrassed to prevent us from even trying or even or even making an effort. And so the, that fear of making a mistake is preventing you from even making an effort, from even trying. And it can actually promote procrastination into your mix of doing things, which will delay your ability to get to the next level of success or to get to the next level of your journey. When in fact, it's proven that making mistakes and being comfortable with making mistakes um, accelerates your level, accelerates you having the ability to get to the next level of success. The fear of making mistakes can prevent you from even just getting started. And not getting started will sure make you successful in not accomplishing your goal. The fear of making mistakes will prevent you from even trying. That's huge. And so we just want to talk about that for a little bit. And most of your successful people have learned to embrace making mistakes, embrace failure. They have learned that failure is a part of their success. Failure is a part of their monumental success, or not even that, the fear of removing, removing the fear of making mistakes puts them in an accelerated pace to make monumental success. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to have, you know, some reservations about doing this or doing that because you don't want to be embarrassed. You don't know what people are going to say about you. Uh, you're going to try to start a business. You're going to promote it and it might fail. And then people are going to talk about you. Well, I've learned and lived long enough to realize that they're going to talk about you if you succeed and they're going to talk about you if you fail. So why not fail to succeed? Because they're going to talk about you anyway. Let me run something by you from uh, 
the book I'm reading, Hidden Potential. Making more mistakes. In theory, what we believe when we're making mistakes, and this is probably where that fear rises up in us or that feeling like, no, I don't want to do that because this is going to happen or that's going to happen. In theory, this is what most of us are thinking. If I make a mistake, I'm going to look stupid. Uh, if I make a mistake, I'm going to feel, I'm going to have feelings of shame come over me. I, I should have known better. I should have should have done that the right way. If I make a mistake, people are going to laugh at me. If I make a mistake, I'm going to experience more anxiety and discomfort. That's the theory. But here's what's happening in reality. When we're making mistakes, what is really actually happening, we're getting smarter. When we're making mistakes, what's really actually happening is we're gaining courage. When we're making mistakes, what starts to happen is we learn to laugh at ourselves. And more importantly, when we make mistakes, what is actually happening is we are expanding our comfort zone. The more mistakes you make, the faster you will improve and the less you will be bothered by making mistakes. You will observe the mistakes that you make. You will learn how to make adjustments quickly and you will find yourself moving up to the next level of success. I've had uh, one client that was, um, we were coaching and trying to push them to get started. And there was one in, in the world of social media, there's, in my opinion, there's only one real ingredient to be successful. And that's just consistency, being consistent in what you're attempting to do, being consistent and in the process of being consistent, you're going to make some mistakes and the mistakes are going to allow you to make some adjustments such that you can begin to put out better content and you can begin to identify who your real audience is and you will discover very quickly that those who you thought would support you are not even paying attention to you, family, close friends, uh, business partners, but you do have to encourage them. You do have powerful, meaning, meaningful content. And there's various different reasons why those in your inner circle don't support or value that content, but your content is not for them anyway. So don't be fearful of starting your social media uh, business, uh, website, podcasts, YouTube, eBay store, Depop store, Amazon store, eBooks. Don't be afraid to get started or don't be afraid to make mistakes as you get started. I would encourage you to get started, fail often, Make your mistakes fast. Accelerate your learning curve. Accelerate your path to your next level of success. Because what God has put in you is a solution for somebody else's problem. And if you don't get started, then you're being selfish and withholding the solution to somebody else's problem. Get started. Don't worry about making mistakes because it's going to make you smarter. It's going to expand your comfort zone. You're going to learn to laugh at yourself. And most importantly, you're going to help somebody else by allowing them to be a partaker of your product or service to solve their problem. Thank you for tuning in to the WePower Daily. 
I'm your host, P. Anthony, a.k.a. The Underground Professor. And as Zig Ziglar would say, have a better than good day.